come to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and uh, today we are going to be learning on Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is Inequalities. Our subtopic is Intersecting Regions. This actually forms the last bit of this topic. So intersecting regions, in the previous uh, lessons we looked at how to convert an equality and show it in a graph. So what about in the case where we have more than one inequality shown simultaneously in a graph and they intersect as a, at a point? So let's show that together. For example, draw a region which satisfies both the inequalities. X plus Y is less or equals to 8 and X is greater than 2. So we will start with the simplest one, which is X is greater than 2. So we will go where 2 is, and then since it's not equal to, it's going to be dotted. So let's draw that dotted. And we want values that are greater, greater than 2. So all the ones that are less than 2 are unwanted. That's the first part. The second equation is x plus y is less or equals to 8. So we need to draw this line first on the graph. So we said you get the values of x. You take it as an equation, which becomes x plus y is equals to 8. So x, y, you pick values of x, which if x is 0, so 0 plus y is equals to 8. So x, y is 8. If x is 2, then it becomes 2 plus y is equals to 8. So y is 6 because 2 goes to side and subtracts. If x is equals to 4, then 4 plus y is equals to 8, then y is 4. And if x is, for example, let's pick 6. So it's going to be 6 plus y is equals to 8. So y is equals to 2. So we can put these values there a lot. So you start with 0, 8, 0, 8. Is here, and then we have two six, two six is here, and then we have four four, four four is here, and then we have six two, six two is here. All right, so when you draw the line, remember because of the equal sign, the line is bold, so you join these points with a ruler with a bold line, not dotted. Ruler should form a straight line. So you notice the line, you can continue the line. So let's pick values on top of the line and below and see which one is wanted and unwanted. So if we pick, for example, 8, 8, the one that is on, on top, 8, 8, that means it's x plus y is less or equals to 8. So this is 8 plus 8 is less or equals to 8. So this is 16 is less or equals to 8, which is not true. So the values above the line are unwanted, so this is what we should. So you notice our lines are intersecting at a certain point. That's how we show that. Let's do more examples. So now we have quite a lot of lines. Let's check them one by one. We have 2x plus y is greater than 3. And then we have x minus y is greater than 4 or equals to 4, and y is less or equals to 3. We can start with the easiest, which is y is less or equals to 3. So on the y-axis, we go to where 3 is, and we draw a bold line because of the equal sign. So you should be bold as well. And values of y are less. So anything that is greater than 3 is unwanted. So anything above 3 is unwanted. So we shade that. For the second, for the first equation, we can draw the value. This is the same as 2x plus y is equals to 3. So let's get the values. When x is equals to 0, so this is 0 plus y is equals to 3 becomes 3. When x is 2, this becomes 2 times 2, 4, 
plus y, so 4 minus 3, or 3 minus 4 becomes negative 1. When x is equal to 4, this is 4 times 2 is 8. If you take 8 this other side, it becomes um, 3 minus 8, which is the same as minus 5. So our points are 0, 3. Let's show that. 0, 3. We have a point here. We have 2, negative 1. We have a point here. And we have a 4, negative 5. We have a point here. So since our values are, there is no equal to, it means this is shaded, a dotted, that is. Just join it with a, with, a, with a ruler so that you can get a line, a straight line. So we pick some values on top of the line. For example, if we take 6, negative 2. So this means is 2x plus y is greater than 3. Let's test that. So this is 2 times 6 plus negative 2 is uh, greater than 3. So this is 12 plus minus 2, which is greater than 3. This is 10 is greater than 3. That is true. So it means values above the line are accepted. So the values below the line are unwanted. Next, we look at this x minus y is greater than 4. So this is the same as x minus y is equals to 4. We get the values of x and y. So when x is 0, so this is going to be 0 minus y is equals to 4. So it's going to be minus 4. When x is 2, it's going to be 2 minus 0 is equals to 4. So y is equals to minus 2. Because 2 comes this side, subtract 4 to form 2. Then divide by 1, get negative 2. And then x is equals to 4, it becomes 4. Minus y is equals to 4, which is minus y is equals to 0, which is 0. So let's put that. So we have 0, negative 4. The first point is here. 2, negative 2. The second point is here. And 4, 0. So the second, the third point is here. So since it's an equal sign, it means the line is bold as well. So you can extend your line, uh, you can get more points. So let's test the values uh, above the line. Let's pick, for example, uh, 4, 2. So 4, 2, let's test that. So it's x minus y is greater or equals to 4. So this is the same as 4 minus 2 is greater or equals to 4. So 4 minus 2 is 2 is greater or equals to 4. This is not true. So values above are unwanted. So we want this region here. And that's how you represent your intersecting regions. So make sure you are able to draw a straight line. You notice every single time we have to show an inequality on a graph and you're just given an equation of inequality. You have first of all to know how to derive the point of a line and then you draw that line on the graph so that now you can be able to interpret the inequality. You know like that there are some steps you cannot skip. That means that you need to have that prior knowledge of drawing of straight lines on graph. So go back and check that. We did that in Form 2 Math in that topic on equations or linear equations on a straight line. Check how we do that because it's going to really matter how you draw your, your lines in the graph, the inequalities. So that brings us to the end. So you can also be given uh, inequalities that are intersecting and you're told to interpret. So you use the same steps that we did in our previous lesson when we talked about reading uh, inequalities or deriving inequalities from the graph. You use the same, same steps that we did then. So you can check out more revisions on this. You need to do a lot of practice to be able to grasp the content. Check that out in the app. And also you can check more notes on the same. See you in the next lesson.